Netflix is another winner of the 2020 COVID-19 economy, as many movie theaters have been closed and people have been streaming videos from home using Netflix. It's also been frequently a top 10 name on Portfolio Armor's daily ranking of the stocks and ETFs that it expects will do the best over the next six months. We've been tracking that live since June of 2017. And as you can see, the fifth one down, Netflix was in our top 10 in June of 2017. And it was, uh, it was up 13.66% over the next six months. But now we've got a threatened boycott of Netflix over the new movie that they're streaming called Cuties, which has 11-year-old girls dancing in sexually suggestive outfits and positions. So let's look at how you can hedge Netflix now if you're concerned that that's going to impact the stock. First thing we do is we enter the symbol NFL X in the Portfolio Armor iPhone app. Then we enter number of shares. Here I'll enter 100. And then we enter the largest decline that we're willing to risk over the time frame of the hedge. Here I'll enter 20%. And next we can pick a time frame of the hedge. Anything from later this week until January of 2023. I'm going to stick with our default here, which goes out approximately six months. So I tap Find Optimal Hedge, and in a moment, we're presented with the optimal put options to protect against a greater than 20% decline in Netflix between now and mid-March. And that, as of Monday's close, was the 420 strike puts and... The initial cost there was 3700 and that assumes, to be conservative, that you bought the options at the ask. In practice, you can often buy puts or other options at some price between the bid and ask. And the cost as a percentage of position value was 7.77%. However, if you're willing to cap your upside, you can lower that cost. So let's look at an example of that. Let's say we type in 24% for an upside cap, and we keep the other parameters the same. And here we're presented with an optimal collar instead of an optimal put. And here the net cost is negative, meaning we would collect a net credit of $140 when opening this hedge, assuming to be conservative that we bought the puts at the ask and we sold the calls at the bid. And that worked out to a net cost of negative 0.29% of position value. Now, if you want to pay or get an even larger credit for hedging Netflix, you could try entering a lower cap. Let's say we entered a 16% cap here. And we kept everything else the same. We're presented with another optimal collar. And this time our net cost is negative 2.92% of position value, which is equal to getting a net credit of $1,390 when opening the hedge. So you can play around with this and you can pick different parameters to find an optimal hedge to protect you against the decline in Netflix. If you want to stay long the stock and you're concerned that either there's going to be a market correction or we're going to have an impact on the on the company's earnings due to the the cancel Netflix hashtag boycott regarding the movie cuties.